Okay, so welcome back to Steel Pro TV and thank you for joining The Average Golfer. I am here on a relatively sunny day. I'm at Carden Park in the heart of Cheshire. Gorgeous golf course. And we're here for one special thing. It's the return of the Man vs Golf Hole Challenge. Now for those of you who don't know, the challenge is a simple one. It's a three hole shootout. I'm gonna pick three holes through these 18 on the Cheshire course at Carden Park. And the challenge is me versus the card. So essentially I'll play against the stroke index. And we're gonna start on hole number 12. It's 359 yards and it's stroke index four. It's a stunning little golf hole. It's one of my favorite golf holes on the Cheshire course. Not because I necessarily play it well either. It's a real, it is a challenge and it's stroke four for a reason. Tee shot, you need driver to get down there as far as you can because you'll want a short iron coming into this green. As you can see, it's very well protected with water and once you get on that green, there's plenty of undulations, no two put is easy. So that's the challenge. I'm gonna move the camera to the back of me. Let's get over to some shot tracer and we'll start off with a G400 Max and see if I can find a fairway. Take that as a starter bit of a uh, bit of fade on that as you can see and uh, we'll get down there shouldn't leave too much into the green hopefully something like maybe i don't know it's looking about 120 out that so maybe i don't know wedge nine iron right now decent drive didn't want to be any further to the right because you're blocked out by this tree clever little golf hole bunker on the left big oak tree down the right so again center of the fairway is paramount i'm slightly right but now i've got a good angle in water is all down the left just measure the flag at 148, it's into quite a strong wind. I'm gonna go with eight iron. This will be short. I'm open for the middle of the green. The flag is right at the very back. And it's a real tough green to find. The little cut shot, if it's still there, will uh, will work quite well on this, but it's all about that wind because uh, if I get this ball up too high, it's just gonna hang there. Good positive strike is required. shot tracer it's right of the bunker played too cautious down that right hand side and I've got a feeling I've got a treacherous up and down from there <laughs> Right, so like I said there, right club, I think I'd found middle of the green, but um, leaked it out just a little bit to, to this right hand side, and now got a nightmare up and down. Bunker in front of me, uh, pin is about five yards on, and over the other side of there is water. 58 wedge, bonuses, I've got a, quite a nice little fluffy lie, so open to just throw this one up in the air, just throw this one up in the air. Sounds easy, doesn't it? Been practicing chipping. Now's the time to see if it works. stabby I'm on the green I've got a put for par which would be a win or I've got two for the half Okay, so first one ends all square. That was a five, which would have been net four, stroke index four. The putt, couldn't really race it. It was quite a bit down the slope when I look back, but I'll take that 
and uh, we start off that's all square with the course okay so we're on to hole number 14 it's a par 5 and it's a short par 5 it's only 425 yards from these yellow tees so it's well makeable in two with a decent drive the issue here is all about finding the center of the fairway and avoiding bunkers on the way up in the second and third shots because it's extremely tight off the tee there's a lot of rough down the left and some nice big bunkers there as well apologies no drone footage it's a little bit windy out there today but um hopefully you can see the shape of this hole <coughs> like i said cut off these left bunkers is the ideal shot and then the green is raised you'll see that when we get to the uh, get to the fairway i was going to say hopefully the fairway uh, on the next shot right so line is somewhere at those bunkers and see if this cut or fade is still still in the bag Be cutting too much you're gonna go in the other bunker that's close set it off too much down the center cut towards a bunker on the right so it's very near and that's what I said although it's a short par five you've got to find that uh, middle of this fairway right so we did clear the bunker splash mark another five yards and we'd have got away with it but it wasn't the greatest the tee shot lips it's okay i've got eight iron i didn't get eight iron up i've got about 180 into the green and uh but there's another set of bunkers so if i can get this about 130 140 it should leave me with a little flick onto the green it should down the left again avoiding the bunkers hopefully Well, I caught it heavy. That's uh, very much on the upslope, and uh, it's out. That's about all I can say. But I'm going to need a decent wedge shot. And this short par five is causing me plenty of problems. Okay, so the only positives I can take from this so far is that I'm still on the fairway, and I've only got 134 yards to go thanks to it being this short par four. So that's a positive, and we've also got not a bad angle into this flag either. The plan is, I've got one three four pitching wedge, it's slightly downwind as well, so I think uh, throw this one as high as it can, avoid them front bunkers, keep fingers crossed and uh, hopefully get it somewhere on that uh, dance floor. decent shot it's at the front of the green it needed a little bit more club I thought we were going to get a bit more assistance there but it's on the fringe and hopefully we can make a two put from there certainly made hard work of that but it was a par at the end and uh, the new putter the kind of uh, that four foot of firm in the back of the hole it actually worked and managed to hold one because the first putt was atrocious maybe it was a chip I was actually on uh, a couple of feet of fringe but take the positives we're still all square with a course with one to go there's no winner yet right shot tracer is on and uh, we're at the end of the three hole shootout 17th about 185 into the wind par three and i ain't getting a shot at stroke 12 so not the greatest way to finish and believe me i'd take a three on here any day of the week it's a cracking par three but it is all about hitting this green right now i'm going hybrid into this wind and it's going to need a sunday best let me tell you
Come on, wind. Bring that round a bit. Oh. Well, I was more than happy with the strike and uh, I thought it would just come off that right a little bit, but it's gone on the bunker line and it stayed there. It hasn't moved, but gotta be happy with the strike, but now it's gonna need a pretty damn good bunker shot to get up and down from there. I didn't know which way to run then. I don't know what to say. I'm very rarely stuck for words, but what a finish to Man vs Golf Hole Challenge. That's a birdie too, and I've just held it out the bunker. I am literally stuck for words. That's the best bunker shot I've ever played in my life. I am pretty ecstatic with that because I couldn't have hit it any purer popped it up high, landed soft, but the last thing I expected was it to go into the hole. So, when I get my breath back, I can't believe I'm getting so excited about a, a three hole shootout that means absolutely nothing to anybody. That's what golf's all about. But I've played pretty rubbish for whatever the three holes that I've played, and I've hit one decent shot, and that was it. But it means I've won, and that's all that matters, right. See you soon on the next Man vs Golf Hole Challenge. Before I go, I've got to say thank you to Carden Park. It's been a fantastic day. I've done some club testing here. got some more videos to do now once I calm down. And uh, the venue's been superb. Condition of the course has been superb. I hope you've seen that. I hope you all enjoyed it. See you next week.